Thai food lovers, I'm Nin. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you three delicious Thai soups to warm your day and night. Before making the soup, let's prepare the important herbs first. I'm going to use these herbs in all the recipes. These herbs are usually used in Thai soups to have bright and fresh fragrance in the dish. The lemongrass, I'm going to use only the bottom half of it. Remove a few layers, then smash it with a pesto or a knife. For the galangal, I will just slice it, but carefully because it's pretty hard though. Then, I need to remove the hard stem of kaffelam leaves. You need coconut milk, water, salt, chicken, the herbs, palm sugar, fish sauce, lamb, and mushrooms. I'm using straw mushrooms, but if you have oyster mushrooms or button mushrooms, feel free to use them or any mushrooms. Just be sure it doesn't smell too strong like shiitake mushrooms. Now, I'm going to boil the coconut milk and the water in a pot on medium heat. With this recipe, I'm not going to reduce the coconut milk because there is no curry paste to fry with. Just wait until it's hot, then add the herbs. Stir and let it simmer to infuse the aroma for 5 minutes before adding the chicken and the mushrooms. Do not stir to prevent the soup from having an unpleasant smell. Season the soup with the fish sauce, palm sugar, or white sugar, and a pinch of salt. Now the chicken is 30% cooked, so I'm going to use a ladle to push everything down under the coconut milk. After 10 minutes, I like to add some Thai chilies. This is optional, but if you like spicy food, don't miss it. I will let it cook for 5 more minutes to be sure the chicken is totally cooked. Then, I'm going to turn off the heat before adding the lamb juice. To make it prettier, I like to drizzle some chili oil, then it's ready to dig in. The next one is Lai Tom Yam Kung, but I'm using fish fillets instead. With this recipe, you need chili paste, palm sugar, Thai chilies that I will smash later, lamb juice, and fish sauce. I'm using extra hot chili paste, but you can use any you like. Instead of single lemongrass, I'm using three because tom yum needs a lot of fragrance as well as chilies. If tom yum is not hot, it's not tom yum though. I'm using sea bass fillets, but feel free to use any fish you prefer or shrimp if you want. Before going to gas stove, don't forget to smash the chili that I mentioned earlier. Add water or fish or shrimp stock if you have in a pot over medium heat. Until the water is boiling, add the herbs and let it infuse to release its aroma for 5 minutes. Then add chili paste, smash the chilies, fish sauce, palm sugar, a pinch of salt and mushrooms. You can use straw mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, or button mushrooms. Turn up the heat and stir to mix. Wait until it's boiling before adding the fish or shrimp to prevent the soup from having a fishy smell. Let it cook for a few minutes or until the fish is cooked. Turn off the heat before adding the lamb juice. Can you guess why I told you to add lamb juice before turning off the gas? The next one, I'm pretty sure you have never tried it before. This red curry with pineapple and shrimp is going to be one of your favorite dishes. With this recipe, I prefer using a fresh pineapple because I think it's less sweet than a canned version. Also, it's easier to find around here. But you can use a pineapple can if you like. Just make sure it's in bite-sized pieces and don't add too much sugar while cooking, that's all. What else you need is shrimp, coconut milk, water, cafe lamb leaves, palm sugar, red curry paste, and fish sauce. Alright, let's turn the heat on medium. Then add half of the coconut milk in a pot, follow with the curry paste. Stir to mix, and this time, I will let the coconut milk reduce its oil to stir fry with the paste for a few minutes. After that, Add the rest of the coconut milk, water or shrimp stock, and kaffelam leaves. 
stir to mix and bring it to a boil for a minute or until the herb release the aroma. Now I will season it with the fish sauce, palm sugar, and a pinch of salt. Add the pineapple chunks and give it a stir. Let the pineapple cook for a minute, then add the shrimp. At this point, to not overcook the shrimp, I will turn off the heat. I will add some lamb juice to freshen up the flavor. And now it's ready to serve. All the recipes here, you can either serve with just min rice or a single like that. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great weekend and see you next week. Bye bye!